Hi, this is Arindam from Informatica MDM Technical Support Team. Today we are going to talk about how to achieve localization in the IDD application. So our agenda for today will be to discuss the steps that need to be performed to achieve localization in the IDD application. So I will be giving you a short demo on, to, on how to achieve localization in the IDD application. So I'm just logging into an IDD application and uh, I will be exporting uh, the IDD application into, into a zip file and save it on my desktop so let me just download the file and uh, save it on my desktop so here, here it goes so uh, what I will do is I will just expand uh, the file that I have just downloaded and I will show you the contents so uh, here is a folder which contains uh, all the files so as we know that uh, there are four sets of resource bundles that contain the strings that are displayed in the IDD application they are the BDD bundle, the metadata bundle, the error code bundle and the message bundle properties files. Now each set includes the default file, a placeholder English language file which can be empty and a localized version of the file which is not mandatory. For example for the BDD bundle set you would see the default BDD bundle properties and the placeholder English language file the BDD bundle underscore en dot properties. Now each entry in the file is a name value pair where the name is a fixed value that is referenced by the IDD application and the value is the part that can be localized. So when an IDD application is first created the IDD configuration manager generates the default resource bundles of each type. These resource bundles have entries for all of the labels used in the IDD application. For example I will uh, just open uh, the metadata bundle.properties file here and show you the contents so you can see that uh, the first name the last name the middle name and the display name have their corresponding labels in the metadata bundle dot properties files now in order to localize uh, these labels what we need to do is we need to copy a uh, resource bundle with the appropriate language code suffix and edit the labels for example what I have done is I have uh, I have copied the metadata bundle dot properties file and uh, I have added the suffix for the Russian language and I have created a file called metadata bundle underscore ru dot properties as you can see here. So what I have done here is I have replaced the first name and the last name to the Russian language equivalent. What I will do now is I will import the metadata bundle dot properties file into the IDD application. So let me just log in. Yeah, so what I will do is I will go to import to existing IDD application, configuration type, I will choose metadata bundle, I'm browsing, I will go to the metadata bundle underscore ru dot properties file. I'm just importing the file. So the file has been imported now. So let me just log in into the application. So what I will do now is uh, I will go to the data tab person new person you can see that the labels are in English language now what I will do is I will go to languages and change it to Russian so immediately you can see that uh, the labels the first name and the last name have been translated into equivalent Russian languages so this is uh, how we achieve uh, localization uh, in the IDD application
and uh, for more details you can refer to the IDD implementation guide for the specific MDM version that you are using so that is all from me uh, we would love to hear from you you can uh, send us an email at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can also tweet us at https twitter.com infrasupport thanks a lot bye bye